pipes though. All right, day four. Uh, we slept in this morning. It is 10 o'clock. Generally, your day after a cold front is generally pretty tough. So if you guys didn't see the cold front video from yesterday, it's a good one. Some good tips in there for fishing cold fronts. But today we slept in a little bit. We fished pretty hard yesterday. Uh, we got a major here in an hour and a half, and we're gonna see if we can catch a muskie, and we might get distracted in the middle of the day by some other species, but who knows, we're gonna have fun. And go we'll see if we can get one. Sometimes like, I know, but more invasive baits sometimes, like bigger stuff or stuff that's more invasive, I guess is the best way to put it. We'll pull out fish. Yep. Like if Kurt, Kurt explained to me, like if he ever needs to see, just see a fish, he throws a two pounder. He's like they will come out and look at a two pounder. So like if there's a fish there, it will look at a two pounder. It doesn't pull that hard with this reel. Here's one. Yeah. So this is really cool guys. We were just talking about this bait I just put on. This is a Musky Frenzy 1012. And Jess was asking why I went so big. And we're having trouble sometimes seeing fish. And if you need to see fish, it seems like if you put on a bait that's really invasive, really big, really gets their attention, you can pull these fish out. Jesse's even throwing a suic in front of me, which is generally pulls a lot of follows, also gets a lot of bites, but it's a very curious bait fish like to come and look at. It's pull paws, right? But a big bait like this with those blades will actually sometimes pull out some fish as well. So big blades, this is the offset, obviously throws a lot of nice vibration. With the two offset blades, one piece clevis, we are exactly 10 minutes from peak and that was our first follow of the day. Yeah, right where Jess said they're supposed to be. I've never seen a fish here, but Jess is like, oh yeah, they come right here. They just fish to this little white birch, and then we're gonna go up to the next little part. So she knows where they're at. Toothpick. There's one, big one. Big one. That thing was wide. Yeah. It was like four foot to fifty. Wide though, holy. She just kept going though. And she never I pulled her off the rock and she just kept going out into deep water. Turned on me.
chasing the dog. Yeah. She was mouthing it there for a minute. Bubbles. Yeah. There she is. She's just not quite ready. Yeah. Well, see her here going around and around. She's just hanging out below us, but having a cast back bait ready is a good idea. Bag dog. Push your weight on it. Musky. Yep. Oh, shit. I thought it was. Good thing I just screamed real. Well, he's all tangled up now. Wasn't gonna net him, but kind of have to now. He's all messed up. Buddy, why'd you have to do that? Pretty one. Got it in a bad spot. Oh no, not bad. Not as bad as I thought. Oh, he's good. Alright. Hold him quick. Is that, is that your biggest muskie ever? Yeah. Better than pike. Look at the teeth on it. Ooh. He's pretty though, eh? Yeah, they're all this color when they're little babies. Cool. Uh oh. Uh oh. Put him back. Put no, him back. No, 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 no. Put him back. He pooped on you when he left. He said, see ya. <laughs> Alright, well we took a little break from casting. Uh, all of our casting activity was right on peak, so we took a little break. We're actually going to go get eat an early dinner here pretty quick before uh, we go back out tonight and try and catch those big ones that we moved. But we got a little bit further to go. We're just trolling, learning some more of the lake. And it actually, that spot looked really nice on side. I should let you catch that one so you could like, at least have one muskie. See, it's tough being me. It's really tough dealing with you. If I wasn't pulling my baits out on fish, I'd be freaking hammering them. <laughs> Keep going, keep coming, she's coming, she's coming. She's coming, she's coming back again. She's coming, she's coming back.
I don't think so. They're back here. There she is. She's right on me. All right. Loved the right corner, she hated the left corner. Hour and fifteen till peak. on the opposite side of the rock. It's a peak of the major, throw a bucktail. They're active, they'll bite a blade. There's one. No, forty incher. Was it? You're growing up on the right spot, kid. Is it? Peak of the major, and this is what we catch. The one you just saw. Okay, let's go across. Okay. 